How in the devil? Poof! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Anyway, today we're going to be comparing the Yamaha uh, CDS300 with the Marantz CD6007. Now, some may say, well, that's a bit of an unfair comparison. Well, not really, considering they're almost the same price at the moment, or the newer model is, I should say. So the 303 uh, and the CD6007 are almost the same price. So the 303 is the newer model of this. Not a lot of difference, really. Uh, the 303, the newer model, pretty much has the same chassis, pretty much a lot of the same components, the same DAC, okay? <laughs> Uh, the same laser setup, pretty much all the same. The only difference I could find on the newer model is that it plays uh, FLAC files where this one can't, and plus it can hold a lot more files than this one can. Now the 303 is going for 320 quid, and the CD6007 in the UK is going for 350 quid, so only 30 quid difference. Now it was 399. Um, uh, when it first came out, but it's down to 350, 340. I've seen one at one site. Uh, so it's not a lot of difference in price between them. So I am going to go into compare them, even though this is an older model. It's very similar to the 303. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the DAX. Uh, I will be doing a sound test later. When I do the sound test, I won't be using any external DAX. I'll be using the DAC that's built into the machine. Uh, to give it a fair test, because some people may be using the machine without an external DAC. Uh, so therefore, I'm going to use the DACs in the machines themselves. The Yamaha uh, S300 has a Burr Brown PCM1780 DAC. Whereas the Marantz PM6007, now it should have come with an AK DAC, uh, but the, when they came out, I think after a couple of months, the AK factory burned down, so they ended up putting ESS DACs in them. And this one has the ES9010K2M. So let's get a little bit up close and personal and have a look what's on the front. Okay, so here we are. The front of them. Wee! <laughs> let's start off with the Yamaha. Got your all your play, pause, all that on the one side. On the other side, you've got a direct mode. I don't even, what the deuce is that on a CD player? I can see pure direct mode working on, a, on an amp. I think the Marantz uh, PM6007 has a, what does it have, source direct, same horse, different jockey, okay? But pure direct on a CD player, I've tried A and B in it, it makes no flipping difference to me, it just gets rid of the display. So I don't see the point of that, maybe a bit gimmicky, but then again, some people may have tried it and hear the difference, I haven't. Then you've got your CD USB input, just press that for CD or USB, USB on off. Down below, ink here. So the controls are mixed on either side of this one. A, a pause, stop, play, eject, and fast forward, skip there. Now, one thing, which is glaringly obviously different, is this has a headphone jack. So the CD6007 has a headphone jack with an, with the, you can turn the gain up here like that, yoink, turn the volume up I mean. Uh, it's a decent headphone output, decent headphone amp built into it. So if you did want to just have a CD player, no amp, no speakers, just listen to it through a headphone in your bedroom, whop, there you go. That's the one for you, wallop. Okay, over here you've got your, your input for CD and um, USB and a USB input here. Now when it comes to build quality, hmm, now they're both under 500 pound CD players. So the build quality on both, even though the Marantz looks a bit more heavy duty, I'd say the build quality is about the same. If you look at the tray on the Marantz, comes up nice and slow, but it's very, it's still plasticky and that's not quite as smooth coming out and probably a little bit more flimsy on the Yamaha. Okay, I'm gonna to have to turn the light up for this. Uh, yoink, because the light's shining right on the Yamaha. If you look at the, uh, the um, display, uh, I would say that the Marantz display is a little bit more vivid 
than the Yamaha. Uh, you can see, I'm sure you can see the, the difference in them. This is a little bit more vivid, a bit easier to see, uh, but not a huge difference. But I think the Marantz has a little bit better display. Okay, so I'm going to leave my light off because obviously I want you to see the display. Now I'm going to open the drawers, put a CD in, try and close them at exactly the same time, press the button at the exact same time and see which one loads the fastest. Oh, the tension is unreal. Okay. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, I think I was neck and neck, wasn't it? I'll have to look it back on the video. Need a video replay on that slow-mo. <laughs> it was pretty much neck and neck, I think. Uh, they both read exactly the same time. Uh, Let's press play and see which one plays the fastest. Well, I think the Marantz was about a second faster. So not a lot between them there. Okay, let's pop the light back on so you can see them a little bit better. You might, give, you might not be able to see the display so much, but I just want to read some stats for you. The biggest difference between the two really is the USB. Okay, now with the Marantz, that USB can read WMA, MP3, MPEG-4, FLAC, Apple lossless, AIFF, DSD. So it can pretty much play any file you want. On here, all you're going to get is WMA and MP3 up to 320 kilobits per second. That's the only difference. Now, I will say on the newer model, you can play FLAC as well. For me personally, I really used the, C uh, the USB, the CS what? What am I saying? The USB, I've had this now for a year or so, and I think I've used the USB once. I've tried a DSD file in it, you know, and once I tried it, and I've played CDs ever since. So I've never used the, headfo the, the headphone socket or the USB ever, <laughs> okay? So it's a bit much by the by for me. Also, when it comes to flak, an MP3, 320 kilobits per second. I can't tell the flipping difference. I'm sure there's people out there going, oh, there's a massive difference. Pfft, I can't tell it. And I tell you what I'll do, down below in the description box, I put a link to a website which plays, which blind ABCs, MP3, 320, uh, I, think, uh, I think it's WAV files, WAV files, and I think 192 kilobit MP3 to see if you can tell the difference. Now, I gotta say, between MP3 320 and WAV, which is completely lost, as that's the original sound, I couldn't tell the difference between 320. So there's not gonna be much difference for me with FLAC. So there you are. So playing FLAC and playing USB, uh, sorry, uh, MP3 320 kilobits per second makes no odds to me because it sounds identical. When it comes to DSD, well, there's an argument there to be said. DSD through two channel stereo, mm, does it sound better than FLAC? Mm, debatable. I think, you know, it is a much a more efficient file, much a better file, but also what you've got to think of is it takes up a lot of room on your USB. If you had a lot of DSD files on your um, USB stick, it's going to take up a hell of a lot of room. So you need a big, probably need a, a portable hard drive or something uh, to be able to fit it on one terabyte or something like that to be able to fit all your files on. Whereas FLAC you get a lot more on, and MP3 320 you're going to get even more on, okay? So loads and loads on there. When it comes to how much you can hold on your USB stick or whatever you want to use, uh, the max folders you can use on the Marantz is 255, and the max folders you can use on the Yamaha is 256. But the max files you can use on the Marantz is 65,000. Whereas this is about less than half, about 32,000. Now I will say, on the newer model, the 303, it can hold up to 500 files with a, with a max of about 65,000. So the, the 303 can hold a lot more files than this model and the Marantz PM6007.
Okay, I'm gonna turn my light off for this again because I wanted you to have a look at one of the flaws with the Yamaha. Right, so I got a USB stick. Bam, okay. I'm gonna change that over to USB. Pop in the USB. Okay, and have a little look. Now there you go. Let me just get the remote for it. There's your folder, a David Bowie folder there, Paul Weller folder, okay. I'm gonna just go to each folder, click OK. Then I've got two folders in there because it's, it's a double disc. Okay, and I've got that one there. Go into that and then I can press play and bam, Bob's your uncle. And there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Press stop and then back and back again and then you're back to your main folder. Now it would be a, if you had a lot of files on your lot of folders with all these, you'd have to scroll all the way through them to find them, but not too bad. It tells you what it is, not, it's okay, it's okay. Now let's have a look at the Yamaha. Let's just take that out. Okay, make sure that's on USB. Where are we there? Let's pop that in there. No, straight away. It doesn't give me what folders there is. It's gone straight to the first folder and auto played it. No, I don't want that. What if I want to look at some other folders? So you've got to go into the remote, okay, and press stop. No, that's what it's giving me. What the deuce is that? <laughs> How do I know what folder it is? What is it? What's number three? I got 62 files, three folders. Now, so I've got to go through the folders and I want the third folder. But it's only until it starts playing do I know what's on it. It's a ridiculous, it's a ridiculous setup. I don't understand why Yamaha have done that. And I think, I think, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think the 303 is exactly the same. <laughs> why would you design it like that? Uh, and then you've got to press stop to get out of it, then go through again. Well, for, I've tried I've tried changing it. I don't know if it's the way to do it. And again, it auto plays as soon as you go there. You can't stop, the only way you can do it is to stop it once it starts playing. Now, I don't know if there's a way to turn off the auto play. I couldn't find it in the instruction manual. Uh, there's no way to change that display. It's nonsense. Now, when it comes to the display, the Yamaha actually is a little, just a little latch poo better, okay, than the Marantz. So with the Marantz, you can see here, it's playing a CD, and if I press info on here, it'll give me time of the track left, time of how much is left on the disc, and that's it, okay? And there's a time played on the actual track itself. Now on the Yamaha, It'll tell you all that information as well, but as well as, there you go. So it'll scroll across, okay, you press it again. Let me ask to try it now. It tells you who the artist is, tells you what track is playing. So it does give you uh, some text for the CD that is playing. However, this doesn't work on all discs, okay? Some discs I play, it works. Some discs I play, it doesn't. Whereas the Marantz doesn't do any text at all on any disc. Now, that being said, let's have a little look on the back. Probably not much to see. Like I said, it's not really much to see on the back. So here's the CD player here, the Yamaha. You've got your analog output, RCA, coaxial, optical, power lead. It's a two pin power lead. Uh, which is removable, which is handy. Down here on the Marantz, nee, 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 nee. okay, you got your RCA here. You got a coaxial optical, same as the Yamaha. You do have this for maybe an external remote. So if you want to plug in an external remote, you can switch it over here. And this one has a removable power plug. Uh, can you see it there? Uh, but it's a three point pin. So not much difference on the back, uh, except for the three point pin and this remote control external or internal. When it comes to the remotes, uh, really speaking, the Marantz is a much nicer remote, more sturdy in the hand. 
I'm probably a little bit better looking, but hey, it's a remote. You point it at the equipment, you press the button and it works. This does that as well. It's just, this is probably clearer display, bigger buttons, just all in all a better remote on the Marantz. Now the Marantz will work a PM6007 amp as well as the CD player all off one remote. And if you get either machine, either the CD6007 or the PM6007, they have an identical remote. Whereas the CD player's remote doesn't do anything for the amp. It'll, it won't work the amp at all. But the amp will work the CD player. <laughs> so you have to get the amp <laughs> to get a, a dual remote. Although it is limited controls. You've got your main controls here, eject, play, disk, start, skip, and all that, right? Um, but what you don't have is things like to change the display or program it or anything like that. Uh, you can't do any of that with the amp remote. So then you have to switch back. You have to have the two remotes in your hand if you want to mess with the display or change files on the USB, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. <laughs> okay. And there you go. There's the comparison. And I know what you're thinking. Well, how do they sound? Okay, they've got all these differences and these things wrong with them and whatever, and these things good with them. But how do they flip in sound? If only I did a sound comparison. <laughs> of course I did a sound comparison. Have a listen. And there you go. <laughs> Oof. 
it's a close one, isn't it? Flipping heck. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I didn't use any external DAX, I used the DAX built into the players. Going through this amp here, the uh, AS500. Now, it's a tough call. Uh, if I had to pick a winner, oh, <laughs> they do sound a little bit different. But that's not to say in a bad way. Some may prefer the sound of the Yamaha. Some may prefer the sound, the slightly warmer sound of the Marantz. You know, I thought, uh, ooh, I can't choose. I'm leaving it up to you guys to tell me in the comment section what you think. But if you're listening to the comparison on your phone, give yourself a slap around the face, okay? Because you won't be able to tell it. Either listening to it through a decent set of speakers or headphones, come on, sort it out. Uh, so, if you're concerned about having a headphone jack, being able to play FLAC files and DSD, then obviously pay the extra 30 quid or whatever it is, in the UK anyway, and get the Varans CD player. Uh, for me, it wasn't a massive difference in sound. I, I couldn't really tell. Uh, and when it comes to looks, I know this is controversial, but I kind of I kind of quite like the sneak look of, of this one over the Marantz. I don't know why, I just do. I'm sure a lot of you disagree with me and love the look of the Marantz. It is a lovely looking machine. Uh, there are some shortcomings with this machine, but don't forget the 300 second hand uh, ranges between 100 and 150 quid. So if price is a factor, then you really can't go wrong with the CD S300. Like I said, they range between 100 and 150 quid second hand. Don't be paying more than 150 quid for one. You see them at facility prices on eBay. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'm gonna make loads of money and it's there for ages, no one buys it unless there's some sucker out there. Uh, but like I said, I got that for uh, 100 quid, bargain. So you've got to make these choices for yourself, whether you want these extra things that the Marantz can offer. Marantz is a great, great CD player. But when it comes to sound, I couldn't hear a lot of difference, to be fair. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget, if you got this far and you liked the video, give it a like. Come on. And what? You, you haven't subscribed? Are you mad? <laughs> Subscribe. Sort it out. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video.